What if I told you there's a star in our galaxy that breaks the laws of physics as we know them? A star so strange that scientists have spent decades arguing if it's even real, or if something far more mysterious is going on. This is the story of the star that shouldn't exist. In a universe governed by the same physical laws everywhere, stars are supposed to be predictable. They're born from clouds of gas, fuse hydrogen, shine for billions of years, and die in spectacular ways. But one particular star, quietly glowing thousands of light years away, refuses to follow those rules. It's a celestial oddball that seems to contain elements that shouldn't exist inside a star at all. Scientists call it Przybylski's star, and to this day, it's one of the strangest objects in the cosmos. It all began in 1961, when a Polish-Australian astronomer named Antoni Przybylski was studying stellar spectra, the colored fingerprints that reveal what a star is made of. But when he turned his telescope toward this particular object, now cataloged as HD 101065, something didn't add up. Instead of the familiar signatures of hydrogen, helium, carbon, and iron, Przybylski saw lines that matched no known star at all. The spectrum was littered with bizarre elements like europium, gadolinium, and even promethium, a radioactive element that decays away in just a few years. If promethium truly existed in that star, it would mean something inside it was constantly creating it. But no known stellar process could do that. It was as if someone, or something, was refilling the star with new elements. To understand why Przybylski's star is such a puzzle, we have to know how stars normally work. Inside a typical star like our Sun, nuclear fusion turns hydrogen into helium, and eventually into heavier elements, up to iron. But beyond iron, fusion actually consumes energy rather than releasing it. That's why heavier elements, like gold, uranium, and promethium, are forged only in the most violent events in the universe, supernovae and neutron star collisions. So, for a living star to contain large amounts of these elements on its surface is, well, impossible. And yet, when astronomers analyzed the data again, the pattern was still there. Przybylski's star wasn't a fluke of bad data. It was real. But nothing about it made sense. Over the years, scientists have come up with several bold theories to explain it. Theory 1. Magnetic chaos. Some stars, known as AP stars, have powerful magnetic fields that can separate elements in their atmospheres, causing rare materials to float to the surface while lighter ones sink. Maybe Przybylski's star is an extreme case of this, a kind of cosmic chemistry experiment gone wild. Theory 2. Radioactive pollution. What if the star is being contaminated by the remains of a nearby supernova or neutron star merger? Those events throw out heavy elements across space. If a star happens to sit in that cosmic fallout, its outer layers could become laced with exotic atoms. Theory 3. Something artificial. And then there's the most speculative idea, one that still sparks debate online. Could these bizarre elements be a signature of alien engineering? Perhaps a highly advanced civilization is using this star as a laboratory, injecting exotic isotopes to harvest energy or send signals across the galaxy. It sounds like science fiction, but so did black holes once. To test these theories, astronomers have pointed some of the most powerful telescopes on Earth at Przybylski star. They've measured its light its rotation, its temperature. And yet, the mystery remains. It turns out the star is incredibly rich in rare Earth elements like dysprosium and neodymium, materials we use in our own technology, from smartphones to satellites. But these elements appear in strange proportions, far higher than natural processes would allow. Some researchers think it's a 
slow neutron capture star where rare isotopes build up through an unusual fusion chain. Others believe it's an ancient relic from an earlier generation of stars, a cosmic fossil left over from a time when the universe itself was still experimenting with chemistry. But the most haunting part? Przybilski's star keeps changing. Spectra, taken years apart, show slightly different lines, as if the elements on its surface are shifting over time. Something dynamic is happening there. But we don't yet know what. Whatever the truth is, Przybilski's star is a reminder that our universe still hides surprises. Even with our modern telescopes and physics, there are still cosmic objects that defy logic and force us to rewrite our textbooks. For all we know, stars like this might be the bridge between natural astrophysics and something entirely new. The kind of science we haven't yet discovered. Maybe Przybilski's star isn't breaking the laws of physics. Maybe it's simply showing us that the universe is bigger, stranger, and more creative than we ever imagined. If you enjoyed exploring this mystery, make sure to subscribe, because this is only one of many stars that shouldn't exist. The next one might be even stranger.